Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this OpenTX snippet, I'll show you how to set up a throttle lock. A throttle lock is fairly easy to do in OpenTX, but before we get to the function that does it, I want to check one thing with you real quick. Press your model button and hit page right until you get to your mixer, and then identify the channel that you're using for your throttle. In my case, I'm using channel 3. Once you've done that, press page right again until you get to the special function page and then press the jog dial on any open special function slot you have. In my case, I'll use SF1. Once you press enter on the open slot, you'll be brought to the first field, which lets you select the switch you want to use. So press the jog dial again. In my case, I like to use SH. And fair warning, on standard OpenTX radios, this is a momentary switch. I've changed mine over. This is now a two position switch. and My momentary switch is on this side. So when I pull SH to me or SH down, I want my throttle locked. You can do it however you want. This is the way I like it, so this is the way I do it. Once you have your switch where you want it, press enter on the jog dial again, and then the first option in function is override, and that's the one we're looking for. And then remember in the mixer, we identified our throttle channel. This is where that becomes important. Right now we want to override the channel. In my case, it's channel three. That's my throttle channel, and we have to set it Initially, you'll think you want to set this to zero, but that's not true. You have to remember on OpenTX, you have a range of negative 100 to positive 100. If you set it to zero and you activate your throttle cut, you'll set your throttle at 50%. So don't do that. You want, and that's what I did the first time I did this. So you want to press enter on the third field and set that to negative 100, negative 100. That's throttle lock. And then finally move over to the last field and put a check in the box. And there you go. Now we can verify that we have a throttle lock in place by pressing the model button and looking at channel three. And there's two things that I'll show you. The first one is that there's a little lock icon right there. See that lock icon? That indicates it's locked. When I remove the lock by pressing SH forward, that icon goes away and you can see the throttle output goes with it when I move the throttle stick. If I put SH down toward me, the throttle is locked again, regardless of the output of the stick. Doesn't matter what the stick does, the output remains negative 100. One other quick little addition to the throttle lock that I'd like to show you is how to add voice prompts to the throttle lock. Under SF2, we'll press enter. We'll press enter on the first field to get that cursor blinking, and then we'll select SH down again. We'll move over to the function, and we're looking for play track. There's play track. Now we'll look for a track that says throttle locked. When you have the amber sound pack installed, the option is throttle disabled. And then the last thing we'll do is put an exclamation in front of the one so it doesn't play when we load this model. We don't need to know that it's locked when we first turn the model on because we get switch warnings for that. We're just using this SH down alert to let us know that when we do pull it back toward us after flying the model, for example, that the throttle is in fact disabled. And then one more thing we'll want to do is set up another audible prompt to let us know when the throttle is activated. Okay, now when we pull SH down, the radio will play throttle disabled. And when we push SH forward, it'll play throttle active. There you go. That's how you set up a throttle lock on OpenTX. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.